everyone, I'm Kelly D, and today we are making a delicious, nutritious and refreshing drink. Now a couple of days ago, one of my older brothers gave me a bag of guavas and he instructed me to make some guava drink. I'm going to do just that, but I'm not going to just make guava drink. I'm going to jazz up my drink today. So along with the guavas, which are known as a superfood, they're really high in vitamin C. We're going to be using pineapple and ginger. So let's go over the ingredients. We have about 15 fully ripe guavas. To prepare them, we're going to cut each guava in half. They should be soft to the touch. Inside is going to be a gorgeous pink and they're filled with seeds. 15 fully ripe guavas. Then we're going to use half of the pineapple. Now to get the pineapple cut into small cubes like this, we're going to cut off the top of the pineapple. Then we're going to cut the bottom of the pineapple so we have a nice base. We're going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to remove all of the skin. Some persons like to use the skin of the pineapple when they're blending it, but I removed the skin for this particular drink. We're going to remove all of the skin. Then we're going to cut the pineapple into cubes to prepare to blend. So half of a pineapple. And to add an extra bit of flavor, we're gonna have a little bit of ginger. We're gonna just use like a quarter pound of ginger. We don't want the ginger taste to be too strong, just a nice subtle aftertaste. Sugar to taste and the juice of half of a lime. Our first step is to blend the guavas. Now we're gonna get as many of the guavas in the blender as we can. We may have to do it at least two times or maybe three. Now we're gonna top up the blender with as much water. I have about two cups of water here. And then we're gonna blend. I think you can add a couple more bits of guava halves. Now we're gonna blend. All right, our guava is done. So we're gonna take the guava out, but we are not gonna pour all of the guava out completely. I'm gonna leave back a little bit of the liquid inside of the blender. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna now add the pineapple to what's left in here. We just wanna make sure everything is fully blended together. So we're gonna add the pineapple. I'll add a bit more water because I still have some pineapple to go. I'm going to blend this one and then once I'm finished here, I'm going to add the remaining bit of pineapple with the ginger. So all of them would have been blended together and then we're going to mix it up. Our pineapple, our first batch of pineapple is done and you will see it has a different color. Our guavas had a slightly pinkish color. The guava, the pineapple now is slightly yellow. So like before, we're gonna leave a little bit of the liquid back. I'm gonna add the remaining, let me just wipe this off because I don't want anything dripping. We're gonna add the remaining pineapples and the ginger and some more water and then Everything would have been blended, and that's the final step. Mm. Our final batch of ginger and pineapple done. Once again, you can see the texture, the, the color is even lighter because the ginger, oh my goodness, you should smell it. I mean, I just got a whiff of that ginger just coming at me, really good. So we have all three of them to here. We have the guava, which is a pink color, the pineapple, slightly pale yellow, and then the ginger. Pale also, but not quite yellow. We're gonna just make sure everything is well combined. I'm going to add the juice now from the lime, which will give a nice balance to our drink. 
we're going to sweeten to taste then i'm going to strain it i just want to make sure that it's nice and light so we're going to remove all bits of pef any bits of hard sugar we're going to strain this drink and by the end of the video i want you to tell me what you think we should call this drink today guava pineapple and ginger i'm gonna tell you what i think but at the end of this video if you can put in the comment section what you think this drink should be called just let me know we're gonna get ready to strain it and then our drink will be done Strain it at least twice because we want to get our drink to be as light as possible. Trying to remove as much of the pep and the seed to get from the guava. And once we're done, we can discard them more. If you have animals, that can be given to the animals. Let me see what it is. Our drink is done. Guava, pineapple, and ginger. I'm thinking that I'm gonna call it Goa Pineapple a la Ginger. Now it's time to taste. I am definitely smelling the ginger. And guava guava has such a strong scent, such a strong aroma. So light, and you get the drink light by straining it a number of times to reduce as much of the sediments as possible. A nice floral taste. Goa pineapple a la ginger. Now you need to try it. Now if you have enjoyed this drink recipe, you need to look over here to see my playlist of other drinks that I have made and I am sure you're going to find one that you can try and you can enjoy. And then click the button just below to subscribe and hit the bell button so you are notified every time I post a video. Remember, send me a comment. I absolutely love hearing from you. And let me know what you think this drink should be called.